the picks for this weekend's card. So this weekend we got UFC Fight Night. Peter Yan taking on Davison Figueredo um, in Macau, China. And this fight is a late one. I believe the main card starts at 3 a.m. Jeez. It's, uh, it's better than 6 a.m. Uh, 6 a.m. start, but, you know, because I, I sort of stay up late anyways. But, yeah, that's a tough one at 3 a.m. Because these guys, this card won't be done till 5 in the morning. And, uh, yeah, so Peter Yan taking on Davison Figueredo. This is a tough, tough, tough fight for Figueredo. I mean, Figueredo was the man at 125, but if you can't beat Brandon Moreno at 125, now you're moving up and you're taking on Peter Yan, who's a monster, monster, right? So Peter Yan, he, he had a little unfortunate streak there with the three losses in a row. So let's go through it, right? His last fight, he looked phenomenal. Beat uh, Yudong Song, who is another monster, hard-hitting uh, Chinese dude at um, 135, right? Monster. Beats him, and then, you know, the fight before that, he fights Marab Devalishu. Marab is an absolute machine. Okay, he just gets crushed by the champ. That's fine. And then, you know, the Sean O'Malley fight. I thought he beat Sean O'Malley. So I'm going to sort of take that one out of there. Sean O'Malley sort of got a lucky decision, in my opinion, in that fight. If I, I went back and rewatched it, I thought Peter Yan won the fight. And then he did lose to Aljo. And, uh, yeah, before that, he beat, you know, Corey Sandhagen. And in that fight, he got DQ'd. I thought he beat Aljamain. So he's been looking not bad. I mean, he did have that little unfortunate streak with two split decision losses. You know, Marab clearly crushed him. And then you got Figueredo, who, you know, he had a real hard time with uh, Brandon Moreno. You know, Brandon Moreno stopped him in the last fight. It was an eye injury or doctor stoppage, uh, the last fight they had. And then he moved up. So Figueredo moves up to 135 and looks phenomenal against Rob Font, who's, you know, a beast, very good boxer, Rob Font. Finishes Cody Garbrandt, very exciting fight there at UFC 300, and then his last fight, you know, he beats uh, Chito Vera, and um, but now he's taking a big step up in competition. Peter Yan is a total different animal than Marlon Vera or uh, Cody Garbrandt, and the grappling, Figueredo, right, the grappling he used to beat Cody, and you know, the grappling, he's very good. But that is not going to really work against Peter Yan because Peter Yan can wrestle. Peter Yan is a very good wrestler, and I just see him winning everywhere. He's the better striker, hits harder, better grappling. Yeah, the jujitsu edge I'll give to Figueredo. The takedowns and wrestling I'll probably give to Yan. And the age, right? The youth I'll give to Yan, and the speed I'll give to Yan. So I, I got to go with Peter Yan in this one. That, that one's, uh, I think, an easy one. Yan Xiaonan taking on Tabitha Ricci. This one, I'll probably go with Yan Xiaonan. Um, yeah, in China, she did just fight the champ not too long ago, so I'll, I'll go with Yan on that one. This next one, Song Kanan taking on Muslim Salikov. Um, the surprise to see these guys so high up in the card. I mean, Muslim Salikov has not been looking good. I mean, he did just come off a split decision win over Santiago Ponzinibbio, who used to be a monster um, when he was on that crazy win streak, knocking everybody out, but he has not been the same. Salikov won a split decision over him, and then, you know, his last fight, he got knocked out by Randy Brown and lost to Dalby. So he's 2-2 two and two in his last four. The The issue is the two, he's, two wins he does have is over Andre Fialo, who's, like, on a huge losing streak, just got cut. Not or like a while ago, but um, and Ponsonibio, who you know hasn't been looking good. So, yeah, it's two wins in his last five fights. It's not impressive, and you know two of those he got viciously knocked out. Did Salikov? Now he's taking on Kanan Song Song Kanan, who's actually been looking not bad. I mean, he did. Just come off a nice little win over Ricky Glenn, but he's not fighting the same level of competition. And the guys he has fought, who are higher levels, like the Ian Garys and you know the Max Griffins, those guys all finished him. Um, 
Yeah, I just think uh, Salikov is going to win this one. I think uh, I'm going to go with the 40-year-old Muslim Salikov just because of the the experience, and I think it's going to have a bad matchup for him uh, striking-wise. So I'll go with Salikov on that one. The next one I'm going to touch up on here. This one, this might be the last one I'll touch up on here. And this one is interesting because this one is the fight that should be the co-main event. I mean, obviously, Peter Jan, Figueredo, main event, okay, for this. But this one probably should be even ahead of Muslim Salikov. I mean, Carlos Olberg, this guy's on a six-fight win streak. This guy's been crushing it. Six-fight win streak, and he's fighting Uzdemir. Uzdemir is coming off two straight first round knockouts over Johnny Walker and Bogdan. He's been looking great too, man. I mean, I don't know why this fight is not higher up. I mean, this probably should be your co-main over Ricci and Jan and even Salikov and Song Kran. That's that's crazy. Um yes, this Carlos Olberg is a huge favorite. Minus two forty five and I'm not I don't agree with that at all. I think Volkan Volkan Uzdemir is a live live dog because he is a very good striker Vulcan Uzdemir right if you want to grapple Uzdemir and take him down then yeah that's going to be a great key to victory but Vulcan Uzdemir has great striking skills man I mean coming off two straight vicious knockouts yeah I wouldn't be uh, surprised if Vulcan won this fight Vulcan is a monster I mean Olberg he's he's coming off you know some finishes he's he got a really good camp he trains with uh, with Izzy and the boys, but Volkan Uzdemir's a live dog, and at this weight class, anything can happen. He's got you know heavy hands, and Carlos Olberg likes to strike, and so does Volkan, so th- that could play right into Volkan's hands. But yeah, I, I don't I don't know if I consider him plus two hundred. You know, same age. That's going to be actually a very good fight. Oh, Mahi Shatas fighting in the first fight. I think he's definitely going to win that one. He's he's pretty good. Um, yeah, those are your picks. And if you guys need a place to bet, BetUS, promo code ICEMAN. Uh, let's make that money. Out. BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. BetUS, where the game begins.